Han Fei de Putajo, Huan Hin Pinjan. That's the word from Graham Beck, one of the world's leading producers of premium Method Cup Classic sparkling wines. Standard Bank took some of their clients all the way to Shanghai in China to the China International Import Expo to explore new markets. It was the most amazing experience. First year, I've never been to China before. It was larger than life. I mean, China is like the USA, I think, on steroids. I mean, it's really, really like an amazing, amazing experience. It was incredible. The size of the Chinese market is really just, you, you can't comprehend the amount of people there, the, the people that are drinking wine. To be honest, we're a little bit unsure of what to expect. But if, in retrospect, I can tell you that we were blown away by the contact that we had. The CIIE has become a global showpiece of export opportunities for exporters from all over the world to get their goods and services into the massive Chinese market. We recently uh, have hosted some of our clients at the second China International Import Expo. It's held in Shanghai. Its abbreviation is CIIE, but it is enormous. And what does it give us? What does it bring? What's the opportunity? It really links African exporters to Chinese buyers. Yeah. It's designed for Chinese buyers to see the world. We had about 50 South African clients who came in two capacities, some as exhibitors and some as visitors. And it was really interesting because some of the exhibitors concluded deals, yeah. some of the exhibitors didn't conclude deals, but their comments were things like, we've got to completely rethink this. The Chinese consumer market is expected to grow at an average annual rate of 10%. The market size is expected to reach 6.1 trillion US dollars by 2021. It stands to reason that African companies seeking growth should look to this largely untapped Chinese market. If you look at the current exports of African um, commodities and agricultural products into the world, China is actually second behind Europe. So with this market opening up and with the relationship between China and Africa, this is an important market for Africa, our clients to get into. China's consumer market has benefited from the rise of the middle class in recent years, bringing with it new consumption habits of younger generations. We have this golden opportunity. There's so much talk about trade imbalance between Africa and China. And we have these products in Africa. Can we get one customer at a time, one product at a time, one country at a time to really break into the Chinese market? That way, we will create employment. We will have economies growing. We want to contribute to get this economy to start growing at double digits. Then we'll have something to compete about. China is one of the fastest growing consumer goods markets in the world, making it ripe for South African companies wanting to grow in this market. China has developed a huge appetite, and South Africa is only happy to start feeding it. If you think about an agricultural opportunity, the Chinese market is so big it could require a doubling in domestic production, of which all the new production would go for export. What does that mean? Employment, ownership of land, infrastructure, all that infrastructure can be funded domestically. It might bring foreign investment. Yeah. It doesn't require foreign investment. Expo is a springboard for us. We don't expect it to be just an event. We want to make sure that beyond that event, we are talking, we are engaging, we have action plans, we are connecting the stakeholders across the board, not just South Africa. I use South Africa as an example, but the, across our presence countries in Africa. We want to make sure that um, we own this, this space and we dominate it for the benefit of our clients. And that's what we want to see happening. The Standard Bank 702 54 and 1 portal. Brought to you by Standard Bank 702 and Cape Talk. More at ewn.co.za.